Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's episode, we're doing a part two of how to back up and restore your iPhone to and from an external hard drive. So in the first video, we covered the backup process. Here, I'm gonna cover the backup and restore only because uh, when I did that last video, it was macOS uh, Catalina. Now we're on macOS Big Sur. So I'm just gonna run through the entire process A to Z. Uh, plug in your iPhone to your Mac, uh, open up a finder window and uh, trust your iPhone and trust your Mac basically on both sides. You'll get a notification if you've never plugged them in before. All right. Also make sure you have an external hard drive plugged in. Uh, mine is formatted as XFAT. Uh, in the last video, I recommended that it was formatted as HFS. Uh, turns out it doesn't really matter because I was able to successfully do it on both process uh, on both uh, formats. Some people asked, is it possible to do it uh, on an XFAT drive? And uh, turns out that it is. All right. So let's just get three finder tabs open, one for your iPhone, one for the actual uh, backup drive that you have plugged in, and one for the uh, iPhone directory that's locally storing your backups on your computer. And once again, if you've already backed up before and you watched the first video, you don't have to watch this entire part. You can skip ahead. I'll have a timestamp uh, in the description so that you guys can just directly go over to the restore process and not have to worry about the, uh, the, the, the backup that I'm doing here um, right now for those who are kind of watching this for the first time. You can uh, so to get to the folder that we need for the backups. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, on that last finder window that I have all the way uh, to the right here. Once I finish kind of sorting these windows and getting them neatly organized, we're going to click on Go. Make sure you're on that third window. Make sure it's the, the one that's active. Hold down the Option key and then click on Library. All right, um, from the library, uh, we're going to go to Application Support. From application support, we're going to scroll down and we're going to find the uh, mobile sync folder. Okay, there it is. Uh, double click and open it and then you'll have your uh, backup folder in there. You may or may not have backups in there if you've already uh, backed up once before. So uh, that really is uh, uh, doesn't really affect the process whether you've backed up once before somewhere else or not. All right, so let's click get, get started on the iPhone there. What we wanna do is also make sure to click back up all of the data on your iPhone to this Mac and not to iCloud. All right, and you can leave that manually manage music, movies, and uh, TV shows option uh, checked off. And let's go ahead and click apply. Make sure your iPhone is also updated to the latest version of iOS. Uh, currently, it's 14.3. Yeah, depending on when you're watching this video, it might be a lot higher, okay? Let's open up a terminal, terminal window. And now this is something that I uh, didn't really go over in the last video, but it's an important piece. You have to give a terminal permission, okay, within system preferences. Uh, you have to give it full disk access. Now you can revoke full di disk access uh, in the future once you're done with uh, this process, but in order to create all the symbolic links and you know rename folders and all that stuff, you have to uh, give it full disk access here. So uh, let's go ahead and open up system preferences. And then we're gonna go over to security and privacy. From security and privacy, let's go to the privacy tab, scroll down to full disk access. And as you can see, I already have terminal listed there. Uh, click on the little lock and just uh, type in your password to give you permission. And if you don't already have terminal there, you can click on the little plus and navigate to your applications folder. I have mine on the left side uh, bar here. If you don't already have it there, you can, uh, you know, obviously get there by going to Macintosh HD, opening up applications, and then the utilities folder uh, all the way on the bottom there uh, will have a terminal inside of it. So you can just uh, click open. Okay, if you already have it open, it's gonna say you have to quit and reopen terminal to make those changes effective. So go ahead and uh, just uh, relaunch terminal. Uh, this is uh, an important part. I had this in the description before, but uh, a lot of folks overlooked it. So here it is kind of in the video directly. All right, so uh, 
what we're going to do now is uh, change directories, okay? We're gonna have to go to the mobile uh, sync folder inside of our library. So uh, we're gonna do the tilde forward slash library forward slash application. And now we're gonna do a backslash because there's a space there. And then support forward slash mobile sync okay and then sync is also with an uppercase s so just follow that um syntax there uh, exactly all right and hit return and you'll see that you are now in the mobile sync folder okay what we're going to need to do now is rename our backup folder to something else um, so we're going to use the move or the mv command so mv backup old dash itunes that backup and then you can see that uh, immediately that change happened there because the folder got renamed to uh, what we just um, put into the command. Drop a few lines, okay, and we're gonna make a new folder in there in our um, backup drive, in our backup drive, and we're gonna name it uh, iOS Backup. All right, and you can see that folder's in there. All right, and then within that folder, we're gonna have to make another folder called backup. You can just use the up arrow key so you don't have to type all that out again. Hit return, and then let's verify that inside the folder, and you'll see that the backup folder was created. So everything so far, so good. Okay, next we're gonna have to create a symbolic link from our backup drive to our mobile sync folder. So we're gonna use the ln command, dash s, and now instead of uh, typing all of this out, what we can do is actually drag the folder in. It'll be a lot easier than having to uh, type it all out by hand. There you go, and that'll put that in there for you. And then with one space in between, we're going to pull in the um, mobile sync folder. So let's just go up one level here and find that mobile sync folder. There it is. All right, drag that in. And then uh, give it one more forward slash and we're gonna type in backup. Uh, you have to add that backup directory in there. Perfect. All right, let's hit return and see what happens. All right, now let's verify our mobile sync folder. And now you guys can see that we have a shortcut in there or a symbolic link to our actual backup drive. All right, now that that's done, we can go ahead and click the backup button and watch the backup happen. Uh, I'm gonna speed this up obviously because it's gonna take a long time uh, since it's my uh, first backup there and uh, just uh, kind of let it run. And through the magic of editing, uh, you can see that the backup has completed and it's inside of that folder and uh, verifying the backup, we can see that it's also in that directory. So that's perfect. What you wanna do now uh, is essentially unplug the iPhone by ejecting it on the uh, left-hand side there. Uh, you can plug in your new iPhone at this point. So this is the, essentially the part two here, okay? Uh, we, have a new we have a new iPhone or our iPhone was just restored. What we're gonna do now is uh, plug that iPhone into our uh, into our Mac. It's gonna be recognized as a new device and we're gonna start the uh, restore process. So uh, make sure that your backup drive is plugged in. Make sure your iPhone is being recognized by Finder there. All right, and we can see that iPhone has appeared. Uh, you'll be prompted to trust it uh, on both the computer and the phone. So make sure to give it uh, permission and automatically it'll see that hey there is a backup from uh, you know 10 08 a.m. which was when I actually did it yours may be different depending on when you did your backup um, you can just verify that all the folders are there and just hit continue all right uh, this process is gonna take some time half hour 40 minutes whatever it is and just uh, let it kind of do its thing. Once it's done, uh, the phone will turn on, it'll automatically be renamed to what your backup was. Uh, in my case, it's iPhone 8MK, 
and you can see that the process uh, went through successfully. Uh, at this point, you can once again eject your backup drive, you can eject your iPhone, and you're good to go. Uh, if you like, you can do another backup right now just you know, to have a backup of the current phone. That's entirely up to you. But uh, from here, you're good to go. Uh, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you next time.